top engineer at NASA has discovered something on Pluto that was previously not thought possible. I'm going to tell you exactly what that discovery is right now on IO. Yo, 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 people, what is good? This is Inform Overload, your YouTube source for trending news. My name is Charlotte, and today I'm going to tell you that NASA has found skyscrapers on Pluto. You just got really excited, didn't you? Well, these skyscrapers are not man or alien made, and they are definitely not the kind of skyscrapers you find in a metropolitan city. These skyscrapers are made completely of ice. They were caught on camera in a region on Pluto called the Tartars Dorsa when New Horizons flew by Pluto back in July of 2015. From overhead, the structures looked like, quote, intricate but puzzling patterns of blue gray ridges and reddish material in between. But now, one scientist believes he knows exactly what's going on on the surface of Pluto. According to Professor John Moores of York University, these skyscrapers are around 500 meters tall. Ice formations are not uncommon here on Earth. Some of the best examples can be found in the Atacama Desert in Chile. Shown here. But no one knew that other planets could have ice formations. So, how is it possible for these things to form? In order for these ice formations, also called penitentes, to form, there needs to be the presence of an atmosphere. Not only that, but they are also formed by erosion. The cool thing about these ice formations is that they are made of methane and they are transferring directly from solid into gas, which is a process called sublimation. You know dry ice? Yeah. Same kind of process, but with methane. Dependent on the amount of sunlight that reaches Pluto and the environment, these formations are made. So how do they get to be so damn tall? According to John Moore's, exotic differences in the environment give rise to features with very different scales. Because of this discovery, it means that maybe even our other planets in our solar system have an atmosphere that's compatible with frozen water. Which means dun dun dun, dun that life could exist or perhaps has existed on other planets where the environmental conditions are similar. Alrighty guys, it's comment time. The King Life and BMX said, what is your favorite game console? Nintendo 64 for show. Zayfresh said, Charlotte, what is your favorite thing about Jared? His man bun. And also when Jared is on fire with his jokes, we all laugh like mental patients. Yeah. Harambe said, how tall is Charlotte? I really don't want to know. Why you asked then Harambe? I'm 5'11". I don't know why I said that like that, but anyways guys, that's all for now. Thanks for watching IO and I'll see you in another video.